Let's take a quick look at and chat about the Black Series 6 inch line of Holocom collection figures. Villa Verrocchino. If it's Star Wars, we collect it. Hello there, thanks for visiting Villa Verrocchino. I just picked up today three figures from the Black Series 6 inch line, the Holocom collection. And I just wanted to jump on and have a quick look at each of them in their boxes before I go through and open each of them up to add to my display. And I have to say, I wanted to jump on and kind of record my initial impressions of these figures because I have to admit they were not originally at the top of my shopping list. But as you can see in the New Zealand price tag stickers here they were originally retailing for $69 each and they were on sale for only $12. Now for a point of reference a standard black series single figure retails in New Zealand for $45 so $69 was on the higher side but $12 is a fraction of the price of even a standard black series figure here in New Zealand so I couldn't resist and picked up all three on sale. So let's take a quick look at the boxes and let's have a little bit of a chat about the Holocom collection line in general. So I'll start with the Mando one here at the front. I know it's a little bit obscured by the sticker there. Of course we've got the sort of translucent blue figure there and the accessories and we have a, a Aura Besh wanted sign here and of course we've got the light up sort of bounty puck here. Now they've done a pretty good job of tying in the design of the Black Series packaging for this Holocom collection. We have a pale blue of course that's a perfect color for a sort of hologram style collection and we've got that light bulb symbol here because of course this does light up. It is a shame that the batteries are not included. We do need three triple A's as noted here on the front but something that I think is really quite neat about these ones is the side art. When we take a look at Han Solo, Bo-Katan and the Mandalorian all lined up I really like the style here and it's not a flat print. You might be able to see that it is embossed. We've got the sort of the lines and raised areas that looks really quite I need a little bit of an extra embellishment. Also that Orobesh on the top is also raised uh, with that red printing there and of course we've got the hologram design coming down the bottom and the names of each characters in a black there at the bottom. We've got a nice kind of uh, illustrative image here on the back showing what these figures should look like when displayed out of the box on their light up sort of bounty pucks here and it notes that they do light up of course when you add in batteries that you purchase separately. So I think that that's a pretty good illustration because it does look very different to how the figures are in the packaging. So as you can see the packaging on mine is not mint. These have been on New Zealand store shelves for a while. Admittedly not as long as they would have been in the States. These didn't show up on store shelves here in New Zealand for quite a while. We thought that maybe maybe we weren't going to get them at all and then a little while back they did eventually turn up. We were quite surprised and a little bit uh, taken aback by that sticker price. Price. We, we thought this was you know maybe something we would pick up but then when we saw that $69 price we thought mm, maybe not and I have to say now that I've got all three I'm kind of a little unsure about how I feel about the line especially because we saw these sitting on store shelves for so long not moving every time we went and checked the same amount was still there no one seemed to be buying them and I know as collectors we do make up our own opinions about collectibles but sometimes we kind of buy into sort of the the community uh, sort of opinions you know if no one else buys them you're kind of like okay these aren't cool you know nobody else wants them sometimes you kind of go along but I did think the idea was cool it reminds me of the sort of the translucent plastic figures that came out around the Phantom Menace we had Qui-Gon, Darth Maul and Darth Sidious I thought those were really cool but of course those were in the 3.75 inch scale line and they were a lot more simplistic they weren't really articulated Darth Sidious he did have some articulation but the others were solid. Now these as part of the Black Series line there is a lot of articulation and a lot of accessories. They are essentially standard Black Series figures just done in that translucent plastic. They have a huge range of accessories as we would expect with a standard figure. Poor Han Solo only comes with one blaster pistol. Bo-Katan comes with two blaster pistols, a jetpack and a removable helmet and Jinjarin the Mandalorian comes with a blaster pistol, a blaster rifle and a large jetpack 
back there as well so they do come with their full array of accessories which uh, arguably they don't really need but I do think that you know they would seem odd to not have them especially blaster pistols I feel like those are in, in a good fit whether or not they need full black series articulation I'm not so sure I generally think of the bounty pucks as being just kind of more of a static pose if these were more in line of like a hollow communicator where the character is actually communicating in real time and moving that kind of makes a little bit more sense and I think perhaps the the actual sort of messaging behind this brand is a little bit mixed they kind of call it hollow com so I think hollow communicator but the design of this and the wanted signs makes me think more of the bounty pucks that we see in the Mandalorian series and I know that for some fans they really like the idea of sort of the hologram ones like we see you know with Palpatine and Darth Maul in the Phantom Menace that makes a lot of sense perhaps even Princess Leia in her help me Obi-Wan Kenobi sort of uh, hologram message now that makes sense as well we don't really think of you know Han Solo in a hollow communicator form we think of him as being you know having a price on his head as he mentions in the Empire Strikes Back of course we do see you know the Mandalorians and bounty hunters in the Mandalorian series you know dealing with prices on their head and bounty pucks and stuff like that so it makes sense for characters in the Mandalorian series but the messaging behind this line is a little bit mixed you know we don't see bounty pucks in the Han Solo sort of era there in the original trilogy film so I think it's a little bit sort of mixed I do enjoy Hasbro trialing a few things out I kind of have mixed reactions to some of the uh, shall we say slightly gimmicky product lines like the Halloween and Christmas themed black series figures but I don't discount the collectors that only focus on the black series and they kind of want a little bit of fun a little bit of variation every now and again I've certainly collected Christmas variations of Funko Pop vinyl Star Wars figures I do enjoy those sort of seasonal variety items I have to admit I haven't picked up any in the black series line they do cost a little bit and they are harder to find here in New Zealand I was quite excited to see these three on New Zealand store shelves but I guess I was like most New Zealand fans and we were not really tempted at that price point but at $12 I am already seeing them disappear from store shelves which is a shame because when when Hasbro takes the time to do a product line like this you do want it to be successful but you don't want to sort of forcibly just buy the product just to make sure that Hasbro keeps making Star Wars toys we don't want the Star Wars line to founder and you know no longer be produced but you don't want to be buying things just for the sake of buying them and so I just thought I want to just sort of chat a little bit about these figures before I open them up because sometimes I've had the you know maybe that looked better when it was in its box maybe I shouldn't have opened it up so I just wanted to sort of you know really take a minute to look at the these three in their boxes before I do open them up I'm kind of hoping I don't go mm, maybe I should have left them in their box because of course they're light up I do I really really hope they're gonna look really cool when I put the batteries in and get them standing on their bounty packs because that's that's the main draw card to this you know because there is sort of like an activity to go with these that is completely rendered you know almost pointless by keeping them in their boxes but as a black series collector I do really understand the appeal to keeping things in at their package so I'm kind of on the fence here I can understand both sides but I've decided I'm going to go through and open them up especially because I have store damage you know I've got dinged corners this one's creased a lot so there's no point keeping these trying to be mint because they're not mint so I'm going to open them up put batteries in them and I'm looking forward to going through and open up each of them but I'm still not really sure how I feel about this line I know they have made more there are certainly others we didn't get the whole wave here in New Zealand which I thought was interesting we were missing two of those original five that were released and I guess I'm going to have to open these one up and see how much I like them to decide if I'm going to go through and try and collect up the rest of the line to be honest I kind of tried to put them in order if I had to pick up one I wasn't sure which one I was going to go with I love collecting bo as a collecting focus of female characters but Din Djarin, the Mandalorian himself kind of seemed to be like it made the most sense because we see him use bounty pucks the most prominent Prominently in Star Wars media but then of course Han Solo so well known for having you know the price on his head from Jabba the Hutt so he seemed like sort of a scoundrel somebody that really would be hunted down by bounty hunters and of course original trilogy characters are always really popular I think Han Solo is a really cool addition to this line so I wasn't sure which one was really uh, gonna be the main one I picked up especially when I was you know wondering whether I would spend 
choice to pick up one I thought well I'm not going to buy all three I would have to choose one but I didn't know which one so at $12 I could pick all of them up for less than the price of a standard black series figure which is always fun so I'm still not really sure how I feel about this line and now that I have them I'm kind of really excited and I know that sometimes when you pick something up you get more excited about it because sometimes if something's more expensive you talk yourself down and go I don't need that maybe I don't really like it you kind of try and peel yourself back from a disappointment of missing out I know how that feels as a collector so I'm quite excited about these you know I had been kind of on the fence thinking no I can leave them in the store it's okay in the back of my mind thinking oh I wish they were cheaper so I could buy them $12 I got them all that I could get my hands on so I'm just really excited to actually open these up and see if they live up to my expectations $12 they don't need to be amazing for me to feel like I got my money's worth with them but you know you want every Star Wars collectible that you pick up to really sort of you know make your sort of eyes light up <laughs> not to sort of play on the illumination pun too much but I really want to be excited about every Star Wars collectible that I add to my collection you know these things are here to bring us joy to connect us to our favorite Star Wars stories and I don't like having collectibles that kind of go oh I didn't really like the way that that thing fit or that one was a little bit broken when I got it out of the box it's always a bit of an unfortunate sort of emotion that will always be connected to that collectible if it doesn't you know match up to your expectations so I'm hoping these are going to be a lot of fun there's going to be some interesting features it's been a while since I've unboxed something with electronics that tends to be a little bit more targeted towards younger fans so I'm going to have a lot of fun testing out the lights on these ones kind of interesting they didn't take the opportunity to put sounds in these ones maybe have some dialogue or anything like that kind of remind me of like the old Comtech reader chips and things like that you know we used to get a lot more sounds in Star Wars product lines from Hasbro not so much these days it kind of makes me nostalgic for the Phantom Menace era there but yeah this has been fun just to have a little bit of a chat and I'm sure I'm going to be watching this back after I've unboxed all three of them and as I figure out whether I was really excited to finally add all of these figures or whether I'd be like you know what I could have just left them in the shelf and saved my $12 for something else so this will be an interesting experiment a little bit of a time capsule to see how I feel about these figures after opening them up so thank you so much for hanging out with me today as I just had a little bit of a pondering chat about the Holocom collection line from the Black Series line by Hasbro let me know if you picked up any of these figures or if you were like me and were waiting to find them on clearance <laughs> so I hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the galaxy and let's hang out again very soon for more Star Wars fun may the force be with you if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, check out our other videos, and subscribe for alerts about new uploads. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.